it gets smelly. Sure. I, get, I get tired of smelling like an old beer can sometimes, or old soda. It's difficult. Homelessness in California, it can mean a range of conditions. Often, there is a level of untreated mental illness. You almost see, like, within the people, you can almost see there's a lot of bipolar and, like, uh, schizophrenics that are homeless that you can honestly, once you get to know, you can, you can honestly say, you know, that person actually cannot hold a job or, you know, maintain a lifestyle like a normal person would be. Years ago, before Reagan did away with all mental illness help, um, there was more programs for people that are mentally ill and so forth, but um, now they're just stuck out here wherever. Ronald Reagan emptied the psychiatric hospitals and Jerry Brown emptied the prisons. That's what they say. Neither statement is completely true, but there are elements of harsh reality in both. The truth is, the deinstitutionalization of the mentally ill began in the 1960s, and the deincarceration is a concept of this century. The result, a sharp increase of homelessness and untreated mental illness in our community. Right now, about 25% of all homeless people in America are right here in California. As the District Attorney of El Dorado County, I worry about the victims of crime, as well as the people living on our streets. Somehow, we must find a middle ground between incarceration and untreated, unsupervised, and at-risk mentally ill people. Sadly, along with mental illness, many homeless people indulge in drug abuse. How do we fix this problem? As a society, we need to have a credible conversation about how we can draw a balance between over-institutionalization of people and throwing homeless folks in jail because we don't know what else to do with them. Community-based treatment could greatly reduce incarceration and homelessness at a time when it seems growing more out of control. Because if people have someone that's there to care for them and make sure they're taking the meds and, and spending their money properly so that they're not blowing it on things that are frivolous um, and they're getting their care first, um, I think that this, there would be way less homeless people, way less. I mean, it, the, the numbers would drop dramatically. There's like, so many of us out here that are just not capable of holding it together long enough.